Hey, welcome back, everybody. We are in my favorite place, the Doors of Pharaohs. <laughs> no, I'm just lying. Wow, I actually hate this place. I hate it with a passion. Um, this is uh, a notorious place to get uh, basically destroyed by the environment from these guys that are in the Rat King Covenant. Yeah. We will see shortly when we walk into this place that about every two feet there is a Pharos lockstone contraption that unlocks some horrible torture device designed to make your life miserable should you come through here. Anyone who belongs to this covenant can come in here and essentially open all these little doors and traps in here and it will release toxic rat dog thingies, which I'm fixing to face one of those right here in a second. All right. And then these guys with hammers, and then these statues that throw huge um, 50 million pound axes at you, and stuff that comes out of the walls, and yeah. Anyway, so uh, thus far I haven't had any problem getting, uh, essentially you get summoned into their world, okay, it's kind of how it works. It's the same thing as an invasion, but it kind of works in reverse is you getting uh, pulled into their world as a gray spirit as opposed to them invading yours as a black phantom or a red phantom, all right? So, be that as it may, uh, it hasn't it hasn't happened to me here. And it's very strange because normally I come through here and this place just gives me the blues. I mean, I'm seems like I get summoned into somebody else's world two or three times and have to keep starting over, you know, but uh, I got lucky here. And I guess for the video's sake, that's a good thing. Now, somewhere down here, there is a huge door that uh, you can use three lock stones to completely open it. And I believe it has one of those mammoth warrior guys behind it. But um, to get through it, essentially all you need is one lock stone for the middle door. But I couldn't find it. It's this huge door and I couldn't find it. And I wasn't going to spend ten minutes running around in circles looking around here. I think it has a, uh, oh, a Royal Knight's Great Sword or something in it. It's got something in there which not a weapon I ever even really gave a second look to or bothered uh, using, but it is it is some item. Anyway, I didn't bother looking for it here, but just know if you come through here and you say, hey, what's this? And there's three lock stones to unlock one huge door. You only need to unlock the middle one to get through it. You may have to fight a mammoth once you get through the door, but uh, you only need one. Anyway. Alright, so that's just a little trivia. Anyway, come back here off in this corner. Alright, it leads to kind of a second little area. There should be a few more of these little, what are these, rat dogs? They kind of sound like rats, but they look more like little miniature wolves or something. Anyway, whatever they are, they're freaking toxic, and they're annoying, and they're toxic, and they're annoying, and yeah. All right, so have some life gems on hand to uh, mediate the poison while well, it's active. I'm not going to waste any poison moss on that crap. All right. Now, there is a door down here leading to an upper path, but uh, I don't think the lockstone is down here. I think you have to go upstairs for the lockstone and come back down here to go through the door. The door kind of looks something like that. Here, I'll, I'll unlock one to show you, but I think all this is going to do is release an enemy. But uh, there's quite a few of these little, these little doors like this that open up for you down here. Okay, so now a player who belongs to this covenant... He could just sit here and open all these doors, and he could release dudes like that, a bunch more of the toxic rats, and anyone who's been through here already knows, you know. If, oh, and then, what's worse, they can use a bonfire aesthetic and make everything, like, 50,000 times harder to kill, too. So if they've got their world at, like, plus seven or something, and you come through here for the first time and you get summoned in, and you get one-shotted by a toxic rat, he doesn't even have to poison you, he just outright kills you. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really embarrassing, actually. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, enough of that, big guy. Good loot drop with these guys. Didn't notice that. Good loot drop with these guys. I and mean, that's pretty consistent all through this area. For If you're looking for their, their armor and their hammers and stuff, whatever they happen to drop. I, I don't know if they drop their whole set of armor. I think... They will drop their helmet and their hammer, though. I did pick up one of their hammers uh, earlier when I first got here. And then I was given another one as a gift by Gavlan for spending so much money with them. Okay, now this guy has a habit of breaking that chest. If it's, if it's quote-unquote in his way, he'll actually break it for you and destroy your loot. 
it has happened to me more than once and that is uh yeah excessively annoying okay so i think this opens that door downstairs i'm 99 percent sure it's the one in between these two germ warrior guys okay, i'm not even gonna worry about that other guy right now just come down here and find this door that i open yeah there we go okay and there's good stuff up here i remember it's something that i that i used something that i actually wanted whatever it is Oh, there we go. Sweet. All right, now it's just a matter of getting back up there again. And uh, this place is, uh, well, I guess it's kind of big, but mainly it's its like, it's got levels. All right, so now we get to basically run around the entire edge of the whole map again, upstairs. And it's basically one, one continuous ledge. For the most part, it's not a fatal fall if you roll off trying to dodge one of these guys or something. So that's good. It's not typical Dark Souls where they have you climb a 75-foot ladder and then get up here so that if you happen to dodge and evade somebody, if they don't kill you, then the fall will, you know, type of thing. Ah, I love this sword, man. This sword is just... <laughs> it's cool, man. It's cool. I forgot that thing was trapped. All right, Titanite Chunk, I'll take that. Petrified Dragon Bone. For those of you using those uh, particular boss or lord weapons, then uh, we like having that, too. Another Pharaoh's Lockstone. All right, so if you really plan on joining this covenant and being a real uh, <clears throat> D-bag, for lack of a better term, to come in here and, and troll other players with this area... Uh, if you knew where to look, you could open quite a few of these traps just on one playthrough. And I believe you can farm the stupid rats in the Grave of Saints also. Now, I, I, from what I understand, they only spawn, respawn like ten times. So, uh, I guess you're limited somewhat, but uh, if your loot chance is high enough, like say you went and got the plus one gold serpent ring and had on, I don't know, the jester's cap and whatever else raises your loot drop chance, and then went through there, essentially every rat would probably drop something. It wouldn't necessarily always be a Pharaoh's Lockstone, but I believe you can farm them. There's some area you can farm for those. And so, uh, yeah, essentially you could come through here and open up just about all of these. Or go look up which ones do which which particular thing, and uh, it's just such an evil place. I think if you get summoned in here as a gray spirit, you ought to at least kind of like the bell, the bell tower covenant, but in reverse, you ought to be able to have someone else summoned in alongside of you. In other words, a summon wouldn't happen unless it was at least two of you, so you could come in, and that would actually make things kind of fun. Two of you working together to fight the environment and go find the host and make him pay for his treachery, evil bastard. <laughs> anyway, okay, and here we go. Okay, I'm gonna do. The Royal Rat Authority, and I already know I'm going to die like 50,000 times, okay? Now, Firestorm with a fully upgraded glove uh, helps quite a bit. Um, mine's not fully upgraded. I think it's plus eight, all right? So I'm going to run in here, and I'm going to have my big sword in my right hand and my Firestorm in my left hand. And uh, the key to this, I know, no matter how you look at it, is to get these stupid rats out of the way, all right? Because they're going to make you toxic, and um, you're really going to have almost no time to suck down a flask and heal yourself i guess i could have poison moss equipped but yeah then he comes in and joins in and, all right you know, just whatever okay um i'm gonna say that yeah even though there's a procedure to this boss it still doesn't always work this is as much luck as it is skill sorry and it's not just because i get owned repeatedly here i'm just gonna say that i'm not the only one that says that this is as much luck as skill it's it's annoying i i don't really like the way they designed this boss because making it well, I, I want to say making it harder doesn't necessarily make it more challenging. I mean, of course it does, but, uh, you know, just adding enemies and making it, you know, semi just damn near impossible type of thing. I'm not going to say that adds to the fun or the challenge of the thing. It's just a matter of getting lucky and dodging these stupid overpowered lunge attacks that he does. And then his ability to dodge and evade you 50 times and basically can't pull off anything you don't have time to do anything because he gets to spam his attacks which all do ridiculous damage and you know what <laughs> i hate this bastard i hate him i hate him 
Yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna bother to pick up my stuff anymore. I'm just gonna come here just with brute force. I'm gonna overpower these guys. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just so not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. Stop hitting me when I'm trying to set you on fire. Oh. You know, I'm not even going to use an effigy. I don't care if I get down to half health. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to be stubborn about it. Okay, let's see. If I equip a... Let's see. I'm going to equip these. Go ahead and pre-pop one of those. All right. Let's see if that doesn't work. Okay, but this is about the place that they get aggroed, so I'm going to go ahead and try to... Oh, that didn't work. All right. I got him this time. I got him. You're mine. You're mine, you big old bitch. You're mine. Come back here, coward. Stop running. Huh? You like that? Like that ninja-like maneuver right there? Huh? You like that? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <sighs> wow. So, so, you know, reverse 180 sweep it. You know, your mom. Your big old wolf. Your mom. Your wolf, rat, slobbery, tongue, drooly, bite, swipey, paw freaky brat thing okay you know what okay I got this I got th I'm gonna switch my fire to my other hand so I can keep my shield up okay let's see this time it right about here yeah you like that like that hot dogs and toast like that huh it's a good thing I'm not toxic good thing I'm not toxic so you know my health's not eating away like like gradually while I'm here sitting here getting my beast on going beast mode on this dude I got you now got you good thing I'm not toxic if I was toxic, you know, this could end badly. <sighs> Pick your tongue up, punk. Okay, so let's see. Maybe if I equip a, <laughs> a dragon charms, which greatly, uh, let's see, they they uh, they cure poison and they greatly reduce HP. Well, that all sounds good to me. Come here, you big old... <sighs> oh, well, you know what? Let me just sit and pray and think about it for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, I, won't, I don't think I'll be using those again. All right. All right, punk. Come here. Come here. You're mine. You're mine! He's like Sif on steroids, mutated with a rat. Without the coolness factor. Okay, so stay behind his... Oh. <sighs> stay behind his front legs. Get behind his front legs and stay in his gut. I mean, that he's similar to Sif as far as that goes. Like there's really a method to this guy. Oh, then roll through his crap. At least I blocked most of that one. If I can get behind his slobbery tongue jaws, I could, yeah, hack at him behind his legs. There you go. That's the key. All right. As soon as he jumps back, get back up in there. No delay. All right. I got this. You're mine. I guess if I said bitch, I wouldn't be cussing because this really is a dog. Freaking come back here. Yeah. Yeah. You like that? Like that? You know, I, you know, I used to really, really feel bad about killing Sif. I mean, I felt really bad. Like, Sif was just cool in every way. And I was forced to be a troll asshole by killing him. But this guy, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying his death. I mean, I, I'm enjoying his death overly too much, actually. I, you know what? I, honestly, if there was a way I could just go kill him again, I would. Even if I had to go through all that again. So anyway, now that I'm far less than human, I'm so hollow now I look like beef jerky. Um... Let me go ahead and get up to this next area. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and use the bonfire to travel back to uh, the bottom of the stairs and get up here. I'm go ahead and spend these uh, hard-earned souls here on Gavlin. Go ahead and get some more poison arrows since he has unlimited poison arrows now, which that I just think that's cool beans. I love poison arrows. Poison arrows with a fire-enchanted bow. Mm -mm. Sweet sweetness. I just need to find a, uh... I need to go get my bow enchanted with fire, come to think of it. Because I have, I have the, uh, the Dole Ember now. And uh, I just haven't been back to the blacksmith at the Lost Bastille. I need to go do that. In fact, uh, note to self, that'll be the next thing that I do. Alright, so, uh, get up here and... Doesn't really matter what arrows I use on this guy. Uh, I don't like getting hit with those axes. They do a ridiculous amount of poise and uh, physical damage. All right, now behind him, there's a turtle. And uh, this turtle has been, like, really tricky. But uh, I think my bow's strong enough where 
before he gets to just run for his life and get out of my aim, I think I can kind of stun him and kill him off. As long as I can get three good shots off on him. Nice. Okay. Some of these turtles have more hit points than others, I think. Alright, not like it's anything I'm just going to really use, but uh, whatever. It's free. Okay. I'm going to take out on this guy what that rat bastard did to me. Rat bastard! I hate the Royal Rat Authority. I really, really do. Alright, so get up here. I like to rush this guy. I don't like him catching me on this little ledge because he has a habit of knocking you off. And this is a fatal fall here, so... We're just, uh... Yeah, we're, we're not going to have that. That's... Oh, no, 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 no. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's the thrill of the game, man. It's the thrill of the game. All right, one of these is holding something. There we go. Okay, now we get out of here, and, and uh, this area, there's these, uh, I don't know what these guys are really are called. I know all their weapons have, like, dark magic imbued on them, though, so uh, they can be pretty nasty. And I already, I'm already missing, like, a quarter of my health as it is. But, uh, yeah, there's a few hiding in these tents. Um, their masks are really cool. I do like those. I think these masks are what was featured in the Dark Souls ad. The, uh, kind of a version of the mannequin mask, kind of, or whatever. Oh, stop it. They do hit kind of hard, don't they? But, uh, there's nothing really extra special about them, as far as I know. Like that? Oh, that running attack and the power attack. Dude, PvP, it, there's nothing more rewarding than sending an invader flying like 40 feet off a ledge. If, if this sword is good for nothing else, it's great for that. And that's that's just epic. It's, uh, it almost has that Black Knight Ultra Great Sword upswing to it. Very, very cool. Okay, now I have to remember where the bonfire's at. Um, I guess this used to be an old military camp of sorts or something. And now all these guys are hollows or something. I am no no real lore aficionado. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, somewhere in here should be a bonfire, and that'll be a good resting spot. And uh, I need to go get human again, because I want to summon uh, the guy who holds the uh, the big uh, blue moon sword. Yeah, I want to summon him, and I have to be human to do so. All right, and that'll be it. All right, so y'all take care. Remember to subscribe, share, like, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, y'all. All right, have a good one. Thanks for watching, everybody. I put links to more Dark Souls in the top box, and for complete listings of all my videos, click on the bottom box. And to subscribe and join the Ninja Flip, smash on that button up top. You can also follow on Facebook and Twitter to get notified when new videos are up. The links are below in the artwork and in the About section. Y'all take care.